Let's use this terrible economic crisis to question assumptions behind economic theory and to rethink the role of the state, finance, and austerity in promoting growth and innovation. Uh, what we have is, in France is a special situation because uh, during the campaign, the, the candidate Hollande committed not to sign the fiscal compact and to renegotiate it. And uh, there were great expectations uh, on the idea that uh, Hollande, with the power of the new elected man, could reopen something and reorient uh, the European policy a little bit towards more growth, because we, we all know that we need growth even to pay the, the debt. So it's a very strong deception because uh, Hollande signed uh, the fiscal compact uh, and now he's doing everything the fiscal compact is requiring. It's a logic. Eh? Once, uh, once you are kept in this logic, uh, uh, everything follows. And uh, practically, this means that uh, he's uh, uh, cutting uh, one part of the budget for, for, for the uh, civil uh, servants. And he's doing what is uh, very important, uh, structural adjustment, adjustment in terms of uh, wages and, and salaries. That is to say, first, the wages are uh, blocked for the civil servants. And he was able to force, I'll come back on this, the social partners, uh, uh, unions on one side and employers on the other, uh, to sign a new compromise which is uh, in the line of structural adjustment. That is to say, uh, basically, the new uh, agreement uh, allows uh, employers to decrease the wages during two years and to lower the hours and so on without clear uh, compensation, you know? Uh, and what is uh, important in that uh, uh, agreement is that it is a minority one, that is to say, he was signed by three unions, and these three unions represent only 30% of the labor and the labor force. But because of the French law, uh, the agreement can be passed, and now it is turned into uh, a law. Uh, this is the first point. Uh, the second point, very disappointing too, uh, is the fact that uh, the French uh, employers uh, made a very strong case uh, in spite of the crisis, because they are in favor, of course, of course, of cutting budgets uh, as regards welfare state and civil servants, but they want money for them, and uh, they were able to win 20 billion dollars, uh, 20 billion euros, which is a lot huh? in, in, in comparison of the the free budget you know you have, huh? because most of the budget is captured, you know, uh, uh, 20 billion dollars uh, euros for them. Uh, uh, as an ad for competitiveness without any uh, compensation. That is to say, the logic, the logic, uh, you, you cut the wages on one side and you continue with uh, favors in direction of the employers is continuing. Of course, there are some few things uh, uh, different than where, that the ones where, that were done in the past especially in terms of uh, taxes, some taxes on the rich were uh, introduced. But basically, it's the same orientation. And the last uh, measure, which is very important, is about banks. Uh, you have the same debate in UK, you, we have the uh, Lincoln and uh, Rickman report in Europe. What has been done uh, in France is really something uh, very far for the basic requirement. Uh, that is to say, uh, we have not separated the banks, not at all. Uh, the only requirement is to uh, create uh, inside the uh, large general universal banks uh, subsidies, and it's not direct, directly subsidies, it's between subsidies and departments, okay? Uh, containing the so-called speculative uh, activities. But in fact, nothing is speculated in the law. Because at the end, the representative of the uh, uh, lobby of uh, the bankers uh, say, oh yeah, we are obliged to put in that uh, uh, subsidy something like 1% of our activity. That is to say, the idea of 
protecting uh, 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 the public uh, from uh, using their money in a speculative way is absolutely abandoned. So it's very disappointing. Eh? We are in a situation uh, uh, Hollande was able to be elected uh, uh, using a very left uh, language. Uh, he had this famous word, uh, my enemy has no visage, my enemy is everywhere, my enemy is finance. Okay, So uh, finance is, is his trend, if you see what, what he's doing now. So, and Benjamin, can you tell us about the movement of the appalled economists? Exactly, the appalled, the appalled economics. Uh, this is, uh, this is uh, a movement we created two years ago uh, after the, Greece, uh, cri the Greek uh, crisis. Why? Because after the explosion of the financial crisis, 2000 and 2000, uh, 2007, 2009, we saw that it was the end of the folly uh, of the financial deregulation and we, that we could come back to serious things, how to rebuild uh, 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 solidar uh, uh, society with a minimum of solidarity without speculation and so on. And what it happened is the contrary. Uh, uh, taking Greece as uh, an opportunity, uh, the language about the crisis changed and the verdict was, look at Greece. The, the cause of the crisis is excess spending of the state, is, uh, is too generous welfare state. Uh, and uh, 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 using this language, uh, the, let's say, dominant classes were able to uh, uh, take the control of the national budgets to introduce austerity. And in spite of having the beginning of a serious uh, discourse on how to rebuild the economy, we have the continuation of the neoliberal wing this time taking the control of the national budgets, that is to say, of the, of the wages of the citizens at the end. Okay, so uh, we were appalled. <laughs> we wrote a manifesto uh, saying that we were appalled because this uh, 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 inversion, you know, of verdicts that was given by the uh, dominant classes. And we were very successful, the book uh, we sold uh, 80,000 copies of the book in spite that the book was and is downloadable freely uh, on the net. We wrote three uh, other books with uh, 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 the same success. And I think this is part of the, of the opposition and we receive from the unions, from uh, uh, groups of the civil society, NGOs and so, and so on, a lot of demands to work with them uh, to organize uh, 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 public uh, uh, reunion, you know, to discuss the issues, and this this is very successful.